Hello everyone. First of all, thank you all for your messages and comments. Uh, I feel rejuvenated. It was a great hunt. Um, some of you were asking whether I got anything. No, I didn't. I didn't get anything. Uh, that often happens, especially in the mountains, because it's not quite like um, hunting in the flatlands or prairies or other places. Um, as, as some of you no doubt know, you have to be at the right place at the right time, but even more so in the mountains. So anyway, it was great, and I think I mentioned before I'm not <clears throat> in a fever pitch to um, to to get um, a deer, but it was it was just a wonderful trip, and I even had a chance to make a Patreon video and another video, and then I followed up with a range video, and um, I'm glad you liked it. It was different making the video just because of the volume of fire around me, but uh, hopefully I talked through it and made a little bit of sense anyhow. So um, I'll, I'll move right to the main channel and I actually wrote down the name of the requesters or some of them. So it took me a long time but uh, Dobar and uh, Stro 8888 88, and Dimitar and Donald. Um, I finally have a Zastava on the table and Donald, you were asking for me to talk about the mini action. Sorry about that, I don't have the mini action. I could have picked one up the other day in 7.62 by 39. But it was one of those days where I just had too many things. So I, I, I left it and then when I phoned, somebody else had picked it up. So it's gone. But that's okay, we can do the mini another time. So this is um, a full stock rifle, obviously. And actually, I'll flip it around, and it's, it's, it's a, it is actually not marked um, Zastava. It may not look like a 40-year-old rifle or 30 or whatever it is. It's in 270. It still says Interarms Mark 10. Um, I'm not sure if we can focus in on that. But that's what this is. It's an Interarms Mark 10, and the Mark 10 is the same or... I'll, I'll be cautious and say it's mostly the same as the current Zastava. And bef you can see there's no thumb cutout here for um, the clip. It's, it's a totally commercial Mauser, beautifully made rifle. And in case you don't know uh, much about Serbia, that's a remarkable country and a remarkable people. I looked up the population, it's something like, well, it depends on what site you look at, but it's between 7 and 8 million people. And I read some of the history, and Serbia's been through an awful lot. Um, obviously a very uh, enduring people, to say the least. And they've made these great um, Mauser actions. I don't want to flip it before the cameraman has a chance to go over everything. So this is a full stock in 270. Maybe you lose a few feet per second because the barrel's a little shorter. That never bothered me, and I don't think it's a big consideration for hunting purposes. Somebody had a scope on it. Um, I believe I'm the second owner. Uh, the first owner, unfortunately, is not with us anymore. And he took off the blade from the rear sight, and nobody could find it. So that we, we know that story. Uh, anyway, a great guy, the original owner, and I'll just flip this around and try to explain to you how great this Serbian um, Zastava Interarms Mark 10 uh, is. The The action has everything you would want in, well, in any bolt-action rifle, but in a Mauser, you know, it has, like I said, no cutout here. Everything is steel. Um, I've taken this apart and the the fit and finish is excellent. Some people talk about these urethane or epoxy finishes. I think this is more of a urethane finish, but they have to meet some of the requirements of the North American market. And people like shiny guns. Uh, you know, most of the time you're kind of not hunting. You're just looking at the rifle in the cabinet. So maybe this finish will wear, although I can't see any evidence of the finish cracking. There's no spider webbing, nothing. So I'm not sure what they use in Serbia. But it's um, 
it's a durable finish. It has a hinged floor plate. <clears throat> Here's the push button release. Um, I have no idea whether these swivel studs were in the stock. I would assume they were, but maybe not. And it doesn't detract from the rifle. It's a useful thing. I, I, I wanted to hunt with this rifle actually this year. Didn't get around to it. These obviously are weaver bases. Um, one of the nicest things, you don't have to modify the bolt. You, you, I, I can't think of a more perfect bolt handle architecture than what they have here with, on the Zastava. Uh, by the way, I looked up Zastava, I was just before filming, and it means flag. Um, it also means um, a product of Serbia. So um, that's, that's it. And by the way, this is not a new company. Zastava has been making everything from cannons to these to the mini actions since 1853. So it's a well established industry. And actually, if you think about it in this day and age, with our high technology and everything else we have going for us, arguably they make the better rifle the old way. Um, they're, they're all, I haven't heard anybody say they're not accurate. But I'm going to have to make a video about this accuracy business because uh, lately I've been contacted by too many people who buy factory new rifles and because of the force of will of their friends and other people, they're, they're pulling the barrels off because they tell me they don't shoot. Then I ask them, well, did you try the gun? Did you shoot it? And no, they just don't shoot. So I, I, <laughs> there's some, something is missing if you don't shoot a gun. How do you know how it shoots? Anyway, we'll talk about that another time. And now I'll just share a personal story with you. I had this same rifle in 30 odd six. I, I think I had just graduated from university. Um, I did not have money for a scope. It had the rear sight on, and I, um, I was a little disorganized as young men are sometimes are, and I, I decided the best way for me to get a whitetail was to crawl on the roof of a farmhouse. Uh, I, I had a friend with a farm, so I crawled on the roof, and I mean, I could see a long ways, but I couldn't really shoot a long ways because of the iron sights. Anyway, <clears throat> Destiny delivered a buck. Um, it, I don't even know how far away that buck was, but it was a long ways, but you know, you don't have the best judgment and the adrenaline is running. So I leaned against the crest of the roof. Um, it wasn't a dangerous situation. The roof was designed in such a way that it would be easy to sit up there. So I, that's what I was doing. Anyhow, I, I remember I fired three or four, whatever this action takes rounds and the deer didn't even move. And then um, I decided it was just a fantastic buck. I still have the antlers. I could show them to you. And um, well, now I gave the ending away. Anyway, then I fired the last shot and the deer just collapsed. And um, I was so lucky that evening. And I had to use this extension ladder to get up, get up to this place on the roof. Anyhow, I hit it in the head with iron sights at that distance. You know, you miss once and you make a sight adjustment, but you're, you don't know where your bullet went. So you're you're guessing, and you're probably guessing wrong, and I was. And then on the last shot, uh, from memory, I think I aimed way under the deer. It was far away, but I guess my sights were... I had fired at 100 yards and, you know, all that stuff. But anyhow, a little story. So uh, when I saw this one, um, when it, when this uh, came up as it, and I had a chance to buy it, um, I for old time's sake I thought I should buy it and, and this one's actually in far better shape than that 30 out 6 I had. So really um, bravo to Zastava they make a fantastic rifle if you decide that you've got to have something like this then you don't have that many choices you could get a Winchester um, sort of uh, pre-64 but the modern version you could buy a CZ um, they made the Mauser configuration, uh, but very quickly the vice of time is closing. And I'd say the Zastava is easily the best value on the market right now. These are beautifully fit and finished. It's got everything that you would want in a bolt action rifle. 
you don't have to modify anything. Uh, it's, it's known technology, it's proven, it's never going to let you down. And their barrels um, are excellent. I've never seen an accuracy or even heard of one with this, this type of rifles. So as always, I have to say I don't work for them. I don't get anything by saying good things. I just say good things because they're true. Um, just a great rifle. It doesn't even need to be relieved here. I always am telling you to take a Dremel and make some room in the back, but they did that at the factory, so it's not going to split in here because the action can act like a wedge even with the recoil. But I wouldn't fiddle around with these. These I, I don't see any need to glass bed a lot of the times. I see glass bedded rifles and of course you say nice things because somebody made an effort but I think in this particular case um, I would just leave the Zastava I would give it out of a hundred um, like 98 and the only reason I don't give it the other two um, marks is because I leave room for something else Serbia just unbelievable job and industry and people um, I hope you keep making these rifles um, I could see the day come where that this Zastava is the only affordable Mauser because I think the CZ doesn't have a clock extractor anymore. I could be wrong. Um, but somebody offered me a CZ range rifle and I'm pretty sure there was no, that was not controlled around feet. So who knows what happen, happens next. But if they end up being the only um, producer of a Mauser Sporter, uh, that's good for us all. Uh, then we know what to buy. It's, it's a great rifle. That's it, and thank you for watching. And, oh, I should mention, I'm finally going to make that video on that Rossler. I don't know how many of you requested that from Austria. The Titan, the, I've got that on the table. Behind me someplace, I have a Savage 99 in 284. I'll make that video. For all the people in the UK, I finally got a P14 or P17. So I'll compare that to the Springfield, which was one of your requests. And I even have a Craig. I picked up a Craig. I used to have three and didn't know that I'd have this channel. So I've got one again, 6.5 by 55. So we'll be talking about that. So I, I've got lots of good stuff. Thanks for your requests. And please send your comments and, and requests. And like I said, subscribe and, and um, it would help me a lot. Okay, thanks again. You all have a good weekend.